If Ayn Rand were held up at gunpoint on live national television and ordered to renounce every tenet of her philosophy or be killed, what would she do? Well, of course, she would do it enthusiastically. She would come out for altruism, mysticism, you name it, socialism, uh, basically waiting for the national program to be over so the guys could be caught, which would be very easy since they're broadcasting uh, the thing, and then see retribution visited on them. But the much more realistic question, it would have no meaning. Everyone, anyone reasonable would know uh, uh, that she's doing it under force. And you, even if the gun isn't in sight, the minute that uh, she's off screen, she would say so. But the real question here would be, the uh, the prisoners tortured in North Korea and North Vietnam until they signed anti-American uh, statements. Now that is a total scandal, not on the, well of course on the part of the uh, Koreans and the Vietnamese, but above all on the part of the American government and the president. He should have announced to the country there is no meaning whatever to words extorted by force, and I hereby, as Commander-in-Chief, order these men to vilify the United States in any way possible to prevent themselves from being uh, tortured. If he had done that, and wipe out the whole scheme, save how many lives and how much torture. And what was it that stopped him? The ethics of self-sacrifice. They have to suffer for their country uselessly, senselessly. That, that was vicious. If someone puts a gun on you and says, contradict your ideas, say it. What the hell difference does it make?